How about it? Brad Pitt attacked at this premiere of Maleficent. What happened? Um, he was in L.A. supporting Angelina Jolie for this movie, and there's this serial prankster, as he's being called, that sort of always pops up on red carpets and, you know, kind of throws celebrities off their game a little bit, and he apparently jumped over some of the photographers there and just sort of slapped them or punched them right in the face, and security got him within seconds. He was arrested, but, man, Brad... And this is the same dude that was trying to kiss Will Smith. Will Smith gave him the slap, but now he's on the offensive and throwing the punch or whatever at the great Brad Pitt. And do you know what else he did? He um, looked up America Ferrara's dress only like a couple weeks ago. So he's like, I don't even know if you want to call him a serial prankster anymore. He's Where's security? How is this guy allowed to get so close to celebrities and he's continuously doing it and no one's there to stop him? They were all over the place, that's the thing. And they he still him. managed to do it, so... After the fact, they got him after the fact. I mean, wouldn't you... Yeah, I'll be your security guard, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you think this Ukrainian prankster, like, everyone would have his picture say, look for this guy on the red carpet, you know, make sure he doesn't get it near the stars? I mean, I don't know. He just, it's kind of crazy at a red carpet from what you can see. I mean, you could... How can you? And he's not... It's Brad Pitt, you guys. He's not a world dignitary. He doesn't have the same kind of protection of, as not. President Obama. What? <laughs> Look at your face. You're no, like, how dare you? What? And who's world? <laughs> I love me some Brad Pitt. Yeah. Well, the one thing about red carpets, though, if you've ever, you know, if you guys have been to one, they're usually so insanely packed with photographers, and they're all screaming and yelling. Yeah. And the flashes are going off, so... All right, we have new information about missing flight 370, but it sounds like now we know less than we thought. Is that right, Annette? Well, they, you know, if you th remember back in April, they heard these four pings, and so there was hope that they had found the wreckage of the missing airliner, but now they, they, they're backing off that, and they don't think those pings, uh, you know, have anything to do with the missing plane, and so now we're back to, you know, square one. Where is it? Selena Gomez, a uh, big star, young star, and we're finding out she has a medical ailment. What more do we know? In Touch Weekly is saying that they um, have confirmation from her grandfather uh, that she does have lupus, but we still don't have any confirmation from Selena or her reps. Confirmation. Well, you never know. So we'll find out a little bit more about lupus. Well, Could that affect her stardom? Can you carry, do the same schedule? How debilitating is it? Things like that. She's such a young girl. Just ask but it used to be Nick Cannon. Don't tell her. Oh, yeah. He's a big... Yeah. I mean, but it is... It's, it's not... It's like an autoimmune so, disease. Like, it's something that is big, and it can affect her, and it can affect um, her job. It can affect the things that she's able to do because it will tire her out. So it is a, a big thing. Like, it's not a small type thing so if she does have lupus then you know I'm sure that it's serious. yeah it is something it is serious and it does strike women as they're younger so all right the national spelling bee is underway and I think we're gonna have a little fun with it I think it's time to roll out some words we use every day can we even spell them most adults can't spell these words Mike so we're gonna put you to the test and Chrissy to the test and Yasmin to the test who will be victorious? Who will come out on top? Yeah, spelling bee. I'll give you one right now. Yeah, yeah spell victorious. Sorry, spell victorious. Victorious. V I C T O R I O U S. Is that right? Oh, yes. Is that right? Yes. Thank Yay! you. Yes. Yes. Get the competitive juices flowing. <laughs> what? No one's going to believe me, but I swear I was a spelling bee champ in elementary school. No. I we swear. Don't <laughs> Where? No. Okay, guess what? I, I was in a spelling bee when I was younger. Guess what word I flubbed on? What word? Paramedic. How stupid oh. is that? Oh. Wait, I can not do that. I can do that. Not that. No, not, not only can I not. No, I probably can't. So here's the thing. So I was in a spelling bee, too, in the third grade, and I had a teacher. I will not reveal her name because she's still alive, and I'm sure she watches. Um, I was on stage, and my word was quarter. Okay. I kept missing the R, and she's in the crowd like, you, Cheater! Oh, she was cheating, and I'm like, what? What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, she was helping me. Quarter. I, I kept missing the R, and she's like, R. <laughs> yeah. If Tracy is a spelling bee champ, then I, I think I, was, I think she should be in your spelling. Like, oh, Tracy. Wild card contestant. Oh, Tracy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 
this whole time. Really bring good. it. I'm really good. good. Bring it. I'm, I hate to toot my it. own horn here, Wait. but I'm. Uh, That's uh, simple. Uh, we'll find out. We're, <laughs> we're booking our guest booker. We got some spelling trash talk. Bring it on. Bring we're it on. such nerds. <laughs> Book yourself as a guest and get out there. I'm booked. Talking trash. <laughs>